So this type of video, ladies and gentlemen, has become quite the regular thing on the channel where we all sit down and take a look at woke students giving the most ridiculous answers you will ever see. And this reaction is probably going to be the longest one I have done. And trust me, it is full to the brim with insanity. You wouldn't believe it. Now, this video I'm reacting to was actually uploaded two years ago now by Turning Point UK, and it was titled Exposing Woke Students Gender Nonsense. Yeah, two years ago now, and we can all see how much things have progressed within those two years in a very stunning and brave way. So just imagine if I went and asked those students now the very same questions that were asked, how much worse would it be? And by the end of this video, you know, I just couldn't help but feel kind of sad that this is the level now people are being brainwashed by the left-wing organizations, institutions, and I say it like that because sometimes I actually record the intros after I film the reactions, which is the case here, but it's just so destructive to society and it does make you concerned about the direction we're heading in. But before I let you witness the madness, as always, if you could make sure to leave a like rating, if you're new, hit that subscribe button, turn on bell notifications so you never miss a video, comment on this video, share this video, follow my socials down below, buckle up and let's get into it. Uh, are there more than two genders? Let's start off with that. Yeah. There are? Uh, there are more than two genders? Yes, of course. Um, of course. <laughs> love it. The conviction. I love it. So, help me out here. What are they? Can we talk about them? Can we name them? Uh, well, there's obviously the binary male and female, if you want that. And then there's some people that are non-binary. And then... So, non non we know about the two, binary. Yeah, and then non-binary, there's some people might be gender fluid or... There's agender. agender. <laughs> gender fluid, agender. What's agender? It's where you're outside of gender. So you don't really like identify with any gender and it's yeah. just some days you feel like you Oh, may sorry, agender. Oh, I see. Like, OK. <laughs> so what does that look like then? Um, oh, wow. So in practical application in life, just in general, what does that look like? anything anything it can be anything you can be anything i'm actually quite offended they only listed a, a few genders because i thought there was 50 100 200 somebody out there in the lgbtqia 2 s plus community is going to be very heartbroken that you only listed a few there disgraceful behavior <laughs> let's be real about this there's only two genders and there is male female you're either a male you are either a female no ifs no buts nothing in between that's how it's always been and that's how it will always be i don't think gender needs to have a specific look um if if you want to identify a certain way then identify a certain way as long as like i'm going to be respectful of you no matter how you look but would you support kids transitioning yeah um especially because most puberty blockers are reversible so if, if um they do change their mind there's no actual harm to the person's body obviously i think surgery surgery wise that should be something discussed at a later age but transitioning socially there's no issue with that. This is how people think, right? And they're going to be going out into the workforce, into different companies, perhaps being teachers as well. This isn't okay. Listen, as we go further into the future, that is all getting exposed and how harmful it actually is to kids. Nobody should be advocating for kids changing their gender, uh, taking medication. It's child abuse. We all know this. Transitioning socially being not, not actual surgery, but in terms of gender fluidity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just like changing your name, changing your pronouns, like whatever that may be to a person, I think um, at whatever age, as long we as- We get to experiment with fashion, we get to experiment with sexuality. Why can't we experiment with, with what gender we are? Because they're kids. Just because you can experiment with fashion and experiment with your sexuality. That's not a justification for allowing kids to go down this road nuts do you think that there are more and uh, more than uh, two genders absolutely yes yeah and and could you name some of them for me uh male female and then an umbrella of non-binary genders oh, oh that's interesting an um umbrella of non-binary <laughs> but an umbrella as you say the umbrella so there could be 50 60 100 maybe i don't know yeah, I, I, I see it splitting like sort of free in that way, but yeah, yeah, what do we know? These people are so lost and confused. They don't even know what they're on about, yet they expect everybody else to agree with what they talk about. How does that make any sense? What about trans rights in sport? So female decides to become a male and then competing in female sports? Like, well, we're both on the rugby team. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I have no issues with it because generally when most trans um especially trans women mm. are choosing to compete in sport they've already gone through generally um hormone re replacement therapy mm. so their testosterone which is let's be honest most people are talking about testosterone their testosterone levels are already lower mm. than m many women may have yeah um so i i honestly don't think there's much of an issue because what about the other way around then when male goes to female so biological male transitions to a female and competes in female 
females. That's what I was talking about. Yeah. yeah. But you said that, sorry. So you said there's lower testosterone levels. Because they've, they've um, transitioned. Sure, but they're still... So, so they're not biologically male anymore, as far as you're concerned? Well, they're not male, no. Once they've transitioned they're, across. Yeah, they're female. Like, I don't think there's any reason for them not to be in sport. These are women advocating for men going into women's sports. Why liberal women are doing so much harm to women these days is actually insane. But it doesn't matter if they have lower testosterone because they have larger organs, larger bones. They have biological advantages that still exist regardless. About safe spaces for women and shared bathrooms and things like that. And so if they're female, so, so why would that why would that matter? Then? Sorry, can you say they're, they're identified as female. They believe they're female, so yeah. they're female. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Same sex bathrooms, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Prisons, the issue of prisons as well. Biological men going into female prisons. But they're but no they're longer not, the biological they're no longer men. men. They're no longer biological men. Ah, uh, okay, they're fine. Women. They're women. Even if they haven't transitioned, they're still women. So, a criminal who is a male identifying as a woman is allowed to go into a woman's prison just because he says he's a woman and in the eyes of these people that's all you have to say you just have to say you are a woman and then you are in fact a woman uh, what about the women who are around this male in that prison what about the safety issues because there are some and it does happen what about the safe spaces the safety issues that come with that left-wing liberal ideology higher pedestal than women's safety common sense reality truth and look what's going on within society is it any wonder if they're, if they're transgender and they haven't transitioned medically yeah. they're still women do you think people should be identi be able to identify as any it should be socially acceptable for people to identify as whatever they choose in terms of gender yeah i think it harms anybody <laughs> if you don't Oh, okay. Yeah. okay, okay, so live and let live, basically. So if I was to identify tomorrow as a female, if that's how I felt and I'd been feeling like this for some years, you'd be okay with that. If we were friends, for example? Absolutely, yeah. What about um, uh, transgender and kids? Do you think that it, uh, do you think it's okay to be in push pushing, branding, marketeering, any of the above, profiteering even, uh, pushing the agenda of, uh, of, 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 uh, of trans on, ch on children? Do you, do you think that's okay? Uh, I think... The most important thing is if a kid speaks about their gender, then you listen to them and take them seriously because that's proven to to have better outcomes for that kid. Um, so, you know, if a kid wants to change their name, their clothes, hairstyle, whatever, then like do that, support them in that. Of course, but but but, but those those choices aren't the same as, as as your gender, are are they? No, no. But if it's coming from a place where they're feeling bad about their gender, then then that's fine. So, if, so if 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 a, if a thirty year old couple or a forty year old couple had an eight year old child and that child, completely unfiltered, on its own of its own accord, through uh, whatever it's seen and heard, said, "I want to be this," the parent should take action and and essentially push the idea rather than disable it. It's not so much pushing, like listen to the kid, let them guide you in it. Like if they let, let them guide the parent. Yeah, for sure. Do you think that there are more than two genders? Uh. Well, I don't really think there are, well, it's sort of a, um, I think gender's kind of a, um, a spectrum, kind of. I don't, I don't think it's like two separate things, if you know what I mean. I, I just think like mm. you sort of look how you want, sort of dress how you want sort yeah. of thing. Because if you think about it, that like when you're, when you're, um, <clears throat> when you're born, mm. you, you're already put in these sort of boxes. Yeah and you have to either sort of follow that it's one big stereotype yeah or you or you kind of think oh i'm not going to or you sort of you know there's not yeah basically yeah, <laughs> there's so, not a, so there, there there are there are an in, indefinite number of of genders yeah, yeah, if basically. i said there was 50 or 100 you'd say yeah yeah but then not all people use like labels one thing i have noticed about these people when they're interviewed in these uh videos is the anxiety that they give off i don't know if it's just a broader thing with people being nervous on the camera but it just seems like they don't seem sure of what they're saying it's like they've been told by somebody else this is the fact and you must say it and they're just repeating it and when questioned on it and you start to ask the serious questions and it gets exposed you know they seem to start a more uh well yeah these people again don't know what they're on about and they expect everybody to agree with them do you would you be able to name any genders for me i mean obviously i know about um, two of them so there's Female. This is where she tells me she's a gender Male. PhD student. <laughs> I'm not, but like um, I do I do run LGBTQ events. Yeah, sure. And safe spaces for everyone. So yeah, go on then. So um, yeah. So yep. Yeah. Female. Yeah. 
male, non-binary, yeah. trans yeah. students. There's so many more. I'm female identified myself, so yeah. But um, so I don't really feel like it's my place. Sure. But the thing is, but you're allowed like, to do that, though, right? You're allowed to identify as what you yeah, want. Yeah, if they exactly. can, you can. Do you see any potential consequences? Because there's consequences for everything. Well, I think there's a lot of people that are angry because they don't understand. So a lot of division, a lot of anger. And division, yeah, it creates, it creates war. It creates war. And that is just not what it's about. That's not what we want it to be about. No, it's about community and respect and love for each other, and that's all it is. And what about the, getting more specific and closing up now? I appreciate your time. What about the issue of safe spaces for women and bathrooms? It's important. It's important. And women not wanting to be but with trans biological... trans women are women. So safe spaces matter, women's safe spaces are important, but trans women are women. So by saying that, you agree with men identifying as women going into those safe spaces, and that makes a lot of women feel uncomfortable. Could you see how that really doesn't align? Oh, I see. So trans, so, so, so men wanting to become women who go through that process are biological women. They, they can become biological women. No, not biologi biologically. No, in terms of gender identification. In terms gender identification, trans women are women. Yeah. They have been women. So gender and sex is a completely different They're thing. They're two different things. Yeah. Yeah. And um, gender is what you identify as when... And that also Social cuts construct. out, it cuts out, you know, it cuts out such a big group of people who, you know, like... Mm. People that weren't assigned their right birth sure when when they were born yeah and it cuts out like them from the entire equation so would point would then that would transfer into sports as well as far as you're concerned yeah I think if, so. if, if uh, so for example in um, contact sports boxing you know rugby the really nasty stuff where we get hurt mm -hmm. speaking from experience that's you're, you're completely fine with if, if, a, if a man identifies as a woman if she's gone through whatever trans woman, yeah. if, if whatever they've gone through then they are they, they should be treated equally as that gender and, and within all domains that we're referring to. Yes. Okay. I really appreciate your time. No Thank you so much. Oh, I'm oh, conscious oh, of time. Words. Can I ask you, on, on the subject of, of, of uh, trans activism, do you, um, do you think that we should be pushing children to transition to the opposite gender? Do you, uh, do you see any ethical, ethical or moral implications there? I mean, I personally can't say anything because I've, like, I've not got a child. I, like, I, I mean, I didn't go through that. Uh, but your opinion as a voter in the UK matters. Yeah. Um... I mean, I can't... Do you, think we should, do you think we should let kids be kids, or do you think we should push it on them? Um, I don't, well, I don't think it's pushed on, on them. I think, really? I think people like... I mean, I think most people who um, um, are, are sort of like trans, they kind of know from a like young age, and I feel like people who aren't trans, we can't fully kind of put ourselves in that position and say to them, oh, you can't transition or something, you can't do this. So do, do you think it's possible to transition to a different sex? I mean, it's hard because you're, when you're young, your, your brain's not as sort of like developed and stuff. You're not, as fully, you're not fully developed at 12, for example, as yeah. you are at 20. No, but then you kind of know yourself better than what other people do. So. Your brain isn't fully developed because you're a child, yet you know yourself more than anybody else. Again, how does that make sense? I don't have a straight answer for that, honestly. It's, it's very difficult. Can I ask you a question? Do you know, when you were when you were a child, did you know what you wanted to be? No. <laughs> no. I, 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 I wanted to be, I know it sounds really cliche, I wanted to be a superhero. Yeah, but it's a, it, it's, it's a good job that I've grown up, because otherwise, if, if I wanted yeah. to transition to a superhero, I could go and jump off that roof, couldn't yeah, I? Yeah. Do you think there are more than two genders? Yeah. Okay, but if you asked me this a year ago, I would say, I would say no. So a year ago, he would have said something else. So he's definitely, in my opinion, just joined this university and they've kind of installed this belief into him and everybody else that also didn't believe there was more than two genders. That's, so, that's fair. So coming, a lot's happened in a year. Yeah, coming down to Brighton, actually, I've opened my mind to so many things and I would say everyone has their right to be who they want to be. So, okay, so more, there's more than, more than one, yeah. more than one, more yeah. than two. Would you be able to name any of them that help someone edu educate someone like me, basically? <laughs> oh God, you, it's like it's like my exam question. Okay, so you have the male and the female, then you have the transgenders, and then you have um, yeah, uh, the gender fluid. Gender yeah, fluid. Yeah, yeah. And I think That's there's true. one. Yeah, there's one. One more is like. I can't really remember right yeah. now. It's like in the back of my head. Okay, but you've named four. Yeah. So if I could just ask you some straight questions, would you have said there were more than two genders? Uh, 
genders. Yeah. Sorry to cut him off there. He said yes before I could get my uh, opinion in. When you see somebody with a mask and you ask them that question, you know what answer you're getting. And and and, and what about you, young lady? Would you have said yes. more than two genders? Yes. Yes. Um, I'm not particularly educated on the subject. Could you tell me uh, the names of those genders? Uh, um, yeah, I'm not too sure, but I guess there's obviously uh, if you identify like, as a male, if you identify as a female, uh, it's non-binary. So um, male, female, non-binary. Yeah, yeah um, I understand. Yeah, but that's the, as far as my, my knowledge goes, really. Okay. Yeah. And what about your good yeah, self? Um, I just know that um, people who identify as different genders have different pronouns as well, so they can use they them pronouns. Like non-binary would use that. Yeah. Um, I'm not that educated either. So it li it, link it links to, to the use of pronouns as well. Yeah. So could we argue that there are, let's say, a hundred genders, or, or is, is there a line somewhere where we say, no, that's probably the amount of genders that there are? Uh, I mean, I guess you could draw a line, but I mean, at the end of the day, it's not, if it doesn't really affect you, it doesn't really matter, I guess. People can identify as what they want. Because in my class, oh, when, okay. we, when we did the introduction and everyone said their pronouns, so some people was prefer to say... Are you made to say that, or is it just accepted now? No, no it's just accepted because I'm, I'm black, and um, for a very long time we'll be fighting for our freedom as well, mm. and uh, the right to be who we are and uh, sure. to have equality. Yeah. So I don't see any reason why I have to judge someone for being who they are. Hold on. Somebody is comparing the issues black people went through to what people are going through with gender ideology and the LGBTQ community today. Seriously? Do you see any negative outcomes or consequences for the direction we're headed in, where we start looking at how people can identify based on how they feel rather than, let's say, biological science or facts? Yeah. Do you think, do you see any negative consequences? I don't, I don't see any negative consequences. It's just like, if, if anyone <laughs> have a problem with it, it's just, it's just gonna be for themselves. Like, you don't have the right to decide for anyone. I don't see any negative impact. As far, see, we're all fighting for equality, mm. but I don't see why one person has to be superior than the other. Do you think it's the same? Do you think we can draw the same parallel? the struggle of, of for the for the black man do you think that's the same as the struggle for the the female trapped inside the male body are oh, they not two very different no, struggles it's different. It's two, i wouldn't say it's the same this is what i mean they don't know what they're saying half the time they just say one thing and then you point out the hypocrisy and they're like wait oh wait yeah I, mm, no that's not what i say because we're minimalizing yeah, we're minimalizing yeah, yeah. what that particular demographic yeah. have been through yeah. by saying that because no, it's not the same. It's not the same. It's not the same. Closing thoughts. I, I can identify feelings are more important than facts. What do you reckon? Go, um, shared bathrooms. I'm, I'm a female and I don't want to be with a biological male regardless of how tall his or her high heels are. What do you think? Um, wait, can you repeat the question again? So if I'm a biological female, yeah. I don't want a biological male in that, in that safe space. Right. Uh, so that's, it's, I think that's incredibly, I think personally, that's incredibly dangerous. That has very, very, if, if I'm a female, I don't want a biologically strong male, regardless of how they identify or dress, I don't want them in there with me. Any thoughts on that in closing? Yeah, that's fine. I mean, at that point, it's kind of, at that point, it is affecting you. It's affecting whether you're comfortable or not. have, like, trauma that yeah, could course. relate yeah, to exactly it, like anything that. like that. Straight questions, straight answers. Are there more than two genders? Yes. Yes? Yes, yes there are. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I'm not aware of it, so it's a bit of an education for me. Can you name them? Um, so it's a, it's a spectrum. Spectrum? Yes. So there's two opposites, and then there's everything in between. So male and female, well, and no, then everything in between. are biological terms, so it will be man and woman, <laughs> and then everything in between. Yeah, no doubt. I agree with him. He's, Same. He's put it, yeah. Pretty well. Pretty well said. Yeah, it'd be hard to like name like the different genders because I think it's like how he said like where you identify in that spectrum. Yep. Yeah, I would say the same. Like you can be masculine presenting, you can be like feminine presenting, but that doesn't necessarily mean male, female. It's just how you're presenting yourself. This is actually very shocking. We have these universities who are clearly pushing an agenda because there's no way this is happening without them being involved. I cannot believe we have people functioning this way in society. People who are advocating for kids transitioning. Men going into uh, women's sports, men going into women's safe spaces, prisons just because they say they're a woman. And 
as I've said earlier, these are the people, and it, you know, it grows as the years go by, these are the people who are going to be in the workforce, who are going to be in the positions of, you know, dictating whether a man can go into a woman's safe space, private space, a sport, whatever. I think this interviewer does a great job when he asks these questions and he hears the response, because if that was me, my facial expressions, they'd have to come out. Like when you see him throughout the video, I can't help myself. And it's almost disbelief that people say the things they do. Could you imagine what the reaction would be if he visibly disagreed with them and really pressured and challenged them on their thoughts? I think there would be a couple of angry reactions. I like the way he asked the questions because he subtly, you know, exposes their delusion. But if this is a Candace Owens, for example, and she's asking those questions and they say what they say, you can tell it's going to get pretty fiery just because one person is based in truth, reality, common sense, and is disagreeing with what these woke liberals say. Oh boy, we do have some issues, don't we, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, leave your thoughts down below on everything that you've witnessed in this video. I'd like to hear how you guys feel about it all. If you have enjoyed, if you made it towards the end, if your brain could take it, mine is struggling right now. <laughs> Make sure to leave a like rating. If you're new, hit that subscribe button, turn on bell notifications so you never miss a video. Comment on this video, share this video. But until next time, it has been your boy JD. Have a great day, stay safe, and I'm out. Peace. I don't know what I've just seen.